During this lesson, you will be required to fill out a worksheet. I recommend you read through the worksheet before viewing the lesson. In order to give you time to do this, you can use the pause button at the bottom of the screen. Learning Outcomes By the end of this lesson, you should be able to State what a trammel bar is used for State two methods used for positioning a trammel bar and show how its level would be determined with the aid of a sketch and mention three important points in relation to trammel bars. Trammel bars Where there is no curb edging or soldier course from which to walk, a trammel bar or screed rail should be established in the bedding material at the required level. This is used as a guide for screeding the bedding layer. A trammel bar is long straight is a long straight rod or timber usually 3 to 4.5 meters in length. All kinds of items are used as trammel bars, 20 mm diameter steel conju, aluminium eye beams or box sections or lengths of angle iron. As long as it is it is a convenient length, fairly smooth and most importantly absolutely straight. Almost anything can be used. The trammel bar is established within the bedding layer and set in such a way that its top surface is at the level required for the surface of the screeded bed. Some trammel bars are simply bedded into the laying coarse material that's bedded directly into the grit sand, while others may be set up on top of uh, bricks or pad stones or carried on steel pins. The most important factor is that once established the trammel bar should not move, settle or sag when the screeded board is dragged over it, yet must be capable of being removed prior to laying of the paving course. The level of the screeded bed is usually left 6 mm higher to allow for final compaction. The trammel bars are typically positioned in such a way that the screeder board will span from bar to bar or edging to bar with some overlap, usually 100 to 300 mm and are always aligned in the direction in which the screening action will take place. Once the bars are in position and aligned, their level is checked. This is done by checking against a taut string line which is stretched between two known level points or by means of an automatic laser level. It is essential that the trammel bars are firmly established. Should they move after establishment, the whole screeded bed could be at an incorrect level, which in turn could result in the finished pavement uh, needing to be relayed. Cambers and dishes. For cambered profiles, the trammel bar is often established at an apex. In some instances, a pair of bars are used as illustrated opposite. The apex is then smoothed off by screeding with a shorter screeder board or a bull float. Dishes can be formed in the same way. The screeding process. Once any necessary trammel bars are positioned, the screeding itself can be done. The screeder board is dragged in one direction, making sure that the bottom edge of the notches or the bottom edges of the screeder board are kept in contact with the trammel bar or the edging at all times. Final checks. There is one item of the finished screeding that can only be done by walking on the screeded area. This is the removal of the trammel bars and the filling in of the hollow they leave behind. In practice this is done with minimal disturbance to the screeded bed by carefully lifting out the trammel bars and moving them out of the walking area and then as seen opposite in the photograph uh, walking one foot in front of the other in the track of the removed bars and infilling it with the bedding material. Conclusion 
A trammel bar is used as a guide to support the screed board when levelling and screeding the bedding layer for paving. Trammel bars are simply bedded into the laying course material that's into the grit sand or may be set on top of bricks or other pad stones or carried on steel pins. We can see here how uh, the level and the height of the trammel bar is worked out by measuring down from a taut string line that's fixed to the finished paving level. Trammel bars should be long, straight and once established should not move until screening is complete. 